Consumers make a variety of choices based on their abilities and needs, and economists try to judge consumers' experiences in order to predict behaviors. Sometimes people purchase things based purely on necessity, and other times people purchase things based more on desire and feelings about the product. Utility is a quantitative measure of happiness used in economic analysis. While it is not something consumers consciously measure, it is a useful tool economists use to measure consumer behavior. Utility is measured in utils, which is a unit of utility. A person's utility level indicates how happy a consumer is when consuming a good. For any given good, utility is a function of the quantity consumed of the good. Mathematically, we would say utility is equal to U of Q. Graphically, we plot utility on the vertical axis and the quantity of items a person consumes on the horizontal axis. In this particular curve, U represents total utility. So U1 is the utility experienced by consuming quantity Q1, and U2 is the total utility experienced by consuming quantity Q2. So far, we assume that consumption of a good confers positive utility. It makes the consumer happier. This is why economists refer to items you buy as goods. There are also items in the world that make the consumer feel worse, which economists refer to as bads, like a television set that arrives broken or cigarettes smoked over time. It is often the case that positive utility numbers are used for goods and negative utility numbers are used for bads. Disutility is the sadness a consumer gets from consuming an item. Something can also be both a bad and a good for different consumers. For instance, one person may love peanut butter, but another may be allergic to it. For the person with the allergy, the peanut butter is a bad, but for the person who loves it, peanut butter is a good. It's important to note that utility has ordinal properties, not cardinal ones. Ordinal simply means that we only care about the ability to know which option is better, not by how much. If we cared about cardinal properties, we would care about how much more an item is preferred to the other. Because we care about ordinal properties, it means that utilities can be compared in a bigger is better type fashion. For example, a utility of five is better than a utility of three, and a utility of four is not as good as a utility of eight. Having ordinal properties roughly corresponds to being able to use the greater than, less than, and equals operators. It is not necessary to determine the exact numerical difference in order to be able to determine these relationships. In contrast, the second part of the statement, that utility does not have cardinal properties, means utilities cannot be added or subtracted. In other words, a utility of five and a utility of three do not combine to give utility of eight. A related property is that a utility of eight is twice as good as a utility of four, and so on. In order to determine cardinal properties, it is necessary to be able to use arithmetic. There needs to be numerical values given to the utility of options that are being compared.